Hello everyone, it's such a joy to meet each of you in this uh, devotional. We are, we are considering Hebrews chapter 12 and the encouragement uh, that the writer brings to a discouraged and a weary community uh, during his days. So we see here in Hebrews 12, I'll quickly read that passage for us, two verses. Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. We see how Jesus in his walk never gave up. He completed the purpose that God had for him. In fact, in John chapter 4 and verse 34, this is what Jesus said. He said, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Think about it. That was his entire focus, to do what God sent him to do. He says, that is my food. Now I get my nourishment, my encouragement from there. The fact that I'm doing what God has called me to do. So anything that causes distraction, anything that deters us from the purpose of God, you know, we have every reason to fight it. Now, what was a secret that Jesus carried? Now, it is here in these very verses, we see that he endured the cross. Um, why? If you just back up a little earlier, for the joy that was set before him, it says. So Jesus was able to go through something as painful. You know, it began with people opposing him, people accusing him. That can cause uh, an immense amount of uh, you know, emotional uh, trauma, difficulty, pain. Uh, and also later on, you know, having uh, been beaten physically, we, can, we cannot even imagine the agony that uh, our Savior went through to get on that cross for us. Now, why did he do it or how could he do it? Because of the joy that was set before him. So we understand that he carried an eternal perspective. He thought about what going through the crucifixion would bring for um, the people whom God had created, what it would uh, do to the relationship that God has with human beings whom he had created. And he knew that if he could endure the cross, it would mean the redemption of mankind. And he was joyful about it. He was also joyful about the fact that man's relationship with God would be restored. And not only that, no, Jesus on earth, he was in this physical body and he was so in line with the Father. I'm sure he was also looking forward to rejoining his Father's presence. That was the joy set before him. So the Lord Jesus went through the challenges of life by looking at the things that he is going to receive if he manages to endure those challenges. And you know, that holds true for us as well. You know, as we journey through life, maybe uh, it's, it's, a, it's a job or a career that, that we are um, um, striving with or you know, something else or uh, a ministry. But as we look at what that is going to produce, we will have the strength to endure. So I encourage us to look at the outcome and the joy uh, and that will give us the courage to go through the challenges of today. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the life of Jesus and God, his wonderful example of enduring the cross, Lord, for um, because of his love for us. And we pray that, Lord, you will give us the same grace and strength, O oh God, to go through um, uh, our struggles and be overcomers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.